Hello and welcome to Pleasant Arms. Um, today we are going to be looking at installing Steam on KDE Plasma on the PC Line OX version. Uh, the reason being is I did one using my Trinity release uh, and I already had a couple of libraries installed on my release that isn't installed on the PC Lost Plasma version and for that reason uh, I did miss a couple of steps and although I did go back and do one uh, do another video in installing one of those steps or rather showing you how to do one of those steps I still missed a yet a step that was written in the comments and so I thought to myself okay uh, the comment was using the Mate version uh, Mate and Plasma are built on more or less on top of each other so there shouldn't be so this should continue through Plasma, Mate, the XFC, LXQT etc uh, of the community editions as well so we'll start by what I have been doing uh, so far I have installed uh, PC Line Express as you can see I've installed the VirtualBox editions and I have updated the OS itself up to current so all the updates are installed and we're about it just to save a lot of time of showing you on the screen uh, that's what I did basically okay so I also downloaded the uh, Steam client and that it will be in under downloads that's the latest Steam and that's the one where we'll be cutting that to an RPM so we could install it in PC Linux OS proper so <coughs> to do this we need to grab some libraries to do that we'll open up Synaptic and I'll put in my super secret password ok that's that loaded okay. uh, what I need to do now is go to search uh, make sure the description and name is shown and first we need is Alien Alien is a program that converts one kind of package into another in our case we'll be converting it to RPM but it is quite easily adept at converting uh, slackware packages and so on as well so I'll we'll search for alien and there it is at the top alien install domain and slackware packages so I'll mark that for installation and we'll click apply and it says to be installed alien apply so I'll install alien and what else we need will be uh, Key package DP KT DP DP as you can see is already installed and we've got the helper scripts for RPM there but another thing we will need is uh, RPM build And we there we see easy RPM builder and RPM build. So we can install RPM build from there. And these are a list of dependencies of which it is needed. So we'll mark that. And another program we will need, because we might as well just install it from is lib32. Or actually I do believe it's called IA. 32 libs so as it is and we will install that as well 37 megabytes okay to be installed or click apply there I will let it show it downloading and installing that it's going to take just about a minute and a half just to download my internet speed is a bit rubbish as they say but that's fine so we'll let that download and uh, in fact uh, we'll be back in a minute when it's uh, finished downloading although it's only 40 seconds I might as well leave that out so I hope everybody's having a good day and looking forward to the weekend it is about uh, 
basically. So you buy my clocks, it's 722 pm here on a Friday evening. And so, uh, yeah, AR 32 which is the big one to come down at the 13. And my, I really do need to update, grade my internet. I really do. And when the uh, money comes in, if money comes in, oh, what are we doing that? Okay, so anyway, it's now installing. Applying the changes. And there we go. Okay. So now, as I said before, we need to convert um, the <coughs> excuse me. We need to convert from RPM to uh, sorry, dead to RPM. My apologies. My brain froze there for a second, as it usually does. Okay, so I need to go to CD Downloads And if we do an LS, there's the dip file Okay, so we try for Alien Minus R Steam Deb And let that go on And as you can see, Steam has been launched Okay, so we now we need to install the RPM And to install the RPM I need to be root of course mm. and uh, sign into my finger or authentication mm, password wrong gully so let's do that again what is going on Ali? ok one last time there we go Okay, to install, we, there's two ways to know to use RPM I and the package name But for this I want to use the object So, that's, uh, oops I cannot type today, I cannot type anyway So, update and, oh, let me find the, uh, the book, the gold, or the gold Steam launcher RPM, because I just just to make sure I got everything right, there we go. So I've got this package list, John, installed, and that is installed. We can exit from there. And we can launch Steam from a user. As you can see it's made an icon on the desktop. And it's saying sudo is not found. So we turn to continue. <coughs> It's only pins potentially out of date, rebuilding it. And it is updating Steam. Now I launched it from the uh, console instead of going through the menu. It should be in under menu and games. But we'll add this to uh, download and install and I will be back in a couple of seconds. Well, when it's nearly finished installing. Okay, welcome back and you join me as it's just downloaded in the last few thousand kilobytes and we'll carry on from there and it extracts the package as you can see it's installing the Brad Pell exception handler for App ID I do like using the CLI when I can. Um, just makes life easier if I move it over a bit. You can see exactly what's happening there. There we go, starting by request. I ah, say sudo, press enter to continue. And it's unpacking the steam. Now sudo isn't installed on PC Linux OS by default, uh, but you can install it and you can add yourself to the wheel and edit uh, the sudo to enable 
pseudo if that's what you wish to do it's not actually endorsed in peace with your Linux OS it's pretty much frowned upon actually uh, but that's fine that's fine so anyway let's go to a new runtime and it's a uh, one cash reporting for C and here we are at the login to existing accounts and create a new account I will actually log into an existing account and I will pause the video and come back once I am logged in I put the long one there as you can see anyway I'll do that anyway back in a mall welcome back as you can see I've just signed into thingy and there is Steam okay Steam is running quite well there I can indeed install but I won't this time I did under the other one and uh, Steam is running uh, perfectly fine to show my my thingy so anyway I need to close Steam now I need to clear up one more thing and that is in Synaptic when Steam installs it creates a new repository for apt-get but being as I'm using PC Linux OS in an RPM format it tries to install one for Debian and the problem with that is this error will come up saying type Debian is unknown online source on the update sources list D steam list ok so you have to go to repository dialect and what you do there is you go to settings repositories and you untick the two steam repos there you can indeed delete them actually I will actually delete them and click OK and it's telling me the repository has changed and for me to reload so I will reload and it shouldn't take too long because all it's doing is hitting the uh, thing. so there we go and if you click or in PC Linux OS uh, you can click or double click uh, Sometimes it's set for single click, sometimes it's set for double click. But I think it was set up for double. I could be right there, so. There we go. It's telling me that sudo is still not. <laughs> kind of says that I happen to need additional packages, but as you can see, it should just run just fine without them. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, connected to Steam account present arms 2009, that'll be me. And we have Steam up. And it's telling us about the new two point hospital, which was reviewed uh, by another YouTuber <coughs> uh, who said it was much like the old thing hospital of Bullfrog days. And it's really good to play. So, anyway. That is Steam up and running. Uh, I can go to install uh, any of these. I'm um, just one uh, update patch recent news and so on. But I can install. So if I go to install, it's telling me the disk space required. Go next. Uh, creating local file settings. It says Steam is downloading for the Viking. Uh, you can try to progress download in Steam Downloads View. You can safely exit and restart Steam and the download will automatically resume. You can go to Manage Downloads and there it is. Now before I didn't know how to do that but I've since just self taught myself. It says all auto updates are now available. To the 151 megabyte download it will take time to download about 4 minutes. I won't trouble you with that, um, in fact what I will do actually is pause the video so I can show the game running after it is installed. So uh, let me pause. Now welcome back again, um, as you can see it's almost uh, downloaded in a few seconds there. And it has finished install downloading, now I can click play. As you can see, Adult Sim Games, Viking Studios. 
There's no problem there. Um, well done. Let's escape to see the view. So we can go to the options there. Control graphics. Full screen size to a full desktop size. You can do mode size. No more. I'm going to leave those as it is for now. Except I don't know how to play this game because I've never. Well, I think I may. Yeah, I think I do need to set up some options here, don't I? So we're going to put up, down, left, right. Jump is Z. Attack is X. Look ahead. Pause menu. Escape. So I assume then. It will be X to start the game, as that's normally the attack. Okay, well, we will try that one. Um, let's escape, and it's a Z. But let's see. Oh, I am already in the game, that's why. Alright, oh, so let's jump. Press down and X. So I've got press down and X. Ooh, some jump hands. Oh, I see. It's a ZZ job, is it? Let's see if I stand back. because I've missed something obviously anyway the game is running quite well and uh, you press S or open X to throw spears okay so it's uh, up S but that doesn't help me does it yes I've just turned away ah there we go no 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 I'm supposed to be jumping there we go so useless at this game oh and I have died anyway that's a look at Steam working on PC Linux OS I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you want to see more and uh, give me some Hints of what you want to see next because I've done four or five videos now on PC Linux OS and I'd like to be a bit more diverse than that I hope. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you wish, thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm happy, all criticism. And uh, Sunday, uh, if you are once you can uh, view uh, my operating system or the thoughts on my uh, Trinity based um, PC Linux OS build that I personally do uh, on the Big Daddy show on Sunday so yeah please join in for that and uh, I will be seeing you soon thank you, good night and take care all